Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to part 10 of the level through PvP only series. In the last video, we got the Finger Slayer Blade from Nokron. Now I guess I should go talk to Ronnie. Although my initial path for this playthrough is probably going to be running through here to grab the items that we didn't get, fight the bosses along this path as well. Afterwards, maybe we'll go to the poison area and then maybe Mount Gelmir before we actually do Landell City. That way we've kind of like cleaned up the map, we don't really have to go back and forth between things and we can just do a straight progression from there. But before any of that, we of course wipe and do our invasion. I do like to start the day with some invasions. The sealed tunnel. Ooh, this could be interesting. We have that as an escape route, we jump up the trees. Oh boy, are they- oh they're not below. Ooh, for me to get there I have to actually climb, right? I believe. Alright, I'm coming guys, hang on. Woo. Well, the Sunbro didn't. Sunbro has a katana. Host completely left behind. Ooh, oh my god, wait, we can totally ambush for fun. Think he sees me? No, I don't think so. I stand in your path, host, although I don't want you. I want your teammate. <laughs> Hello there, teammate. Whoa, Matthew, is that a moon veil? It most certainly is a moon veil. I need to get by you, though, sorry. Oh my god, Kamehameha. What an optimal place for it as well. <laughs> a tunnel. That's perfect. Hey, we haven't seen a lot of moon veils, actually. Hang on, I'm going to grab that back stab. Hopefully it doesn't kill you. R2. I was going to say, you think he's getting used to the fact that I do that? <laughs> I R2 after his moon veil, Ash of War. Kamehameha! Oh. That did not do enough damage. Wah! No, do not separate between me. That is not good. A moon veil behind you in a tunnel? That is not fun. What? Oh no! Wait, if I quickly kill him, I should be able to do it. Oh nice, I already put the scarab on. We're good. <laughs> 2165. I'll take it as our first battle. Not opposed to it. The four belfries, our next spot. Azamard. Well, that's a wizard. So, let's be smart about this. Put on our counter wizard juices. What is that? A dagger. Hi there. Whee! <laughs> my target is the wizard, sir. I know you enjoy being in my face, but we're gonna have to go after the high level wizard. Hopefully high level. The whole build is definitely that, so. Oh, and some madness. Yeah, that actually hurts a little bit. Okay, maybe we won't be going Lance. I need some better burst damage. The host does it. Ooh, they're tauntered tongue. Cool. Definitely not cool though that there's madness in the vicinity. Oh, careful, Red. You have your iframes. Can you go for the host? I want the I want the wizard. Completely ignoring the host. Wait, did he aim that at his wizard? No, I want the wizard, man. What is this? Let me handle the wizard. I'm made for this. Literally me. Oh, red. Thank you. I got this. Believe in me, okay? As long as you can distract the host, who, by the way, doesn't do that much damage. We're gonna be good. There we go. I got the teammate. Give me the salt. Oh, 10k. Nice. R2. <laughs> oh, wait. I should have just put that back on. Where'd the red go? Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Liernia Loiterer. <laughs> That's a great name for a build. I thank you for the teamwork. I got 14,000 souls total now. This is nice. And we get the manor for the last one. All right. Meredith Jane. I was only like a thousand away from leveling up. So we'll probably get it during this. I'm just kind of hoping this phantom right here is... Oh. Well. Oh. Hosts are so aggressive. What? What? <laughs> I really thought that'd be a backstab. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Whoa! This guy is either super high level or just light rolling. Hard to say because I feel like all... He's wearing light armor, though, for taking that little amount of damage. That's why I think it's a, a higher level build. Let's get our lance here. That way we can roll catch. 
Perfect. 800? Oh, not that high level at all. Hi, Meredith. R2. I guess we could just keep on the Scarab. Oh, I don't like being near big PvE, to be honest. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, <laughs> well. I'll we'll give you a bow, Meredith. I think that's enough to level. It was like 15,000 and something. So we're cutting it close, but we do need to start getting levels. All right, we can barely level, but I'll take it. I had 80 extra runes there, and I think we're going to go to 45 on the health. At this point, our strength investment still isn't giving us the best returns. One damage, really. <laughs> yeah. Endurance will be nice. Once I take off the sword seal, we're going to need more of it, but I'm kind of waiting until we get the Erd Tree plus one. So we're going to go health for now. All right, now we can actually adventure a little bit. There is a golden seed nearby here that I never grabbed. Golden seed. Now, if I can upgrade my Estus, I know that it's still four to upgrade an Estus. Ooh, not yet, apparently. Talk to Melina, though. Ah, yes, we are indeed close to the Erd Tree. Yes. All right, now I guess we'll go here and progress on the outer side of Leendale, get all of this done, and then clean up and go into Mount Gelmir. Wait, I do remember there's a boss here with a C, right? And of course, there's the church up there. But I'm pretty sure the boss is in here. And you get the giant crusher around here. Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds about right. Hi there. Ooh, you look like a tanky one. Yeah, frostbite procs are going to be huge. Oh, ah. Uh, that's still so weird timing for me. I feel like there's like a visual blast before the actual hitbox. I should probably also swap to a fire weapon to reset the frostbite. Yeah. That's definitely going to be our way to get damage on this. We tickle it otherwise. Yeah. Fire. Perfect. Definitely nice to keep those close at hand. Oh. Running out of that is definitely a safer bet. What attack? Oh, I rolled too early. Oh no, I was able to double roll, but I got hit by the aftermath of the tail, really? I didn't know you could do that. Seems like it takes like four hits to actually get the frostbite. Probably five when there's like a delay between, yeah. And then we reset it, perfect. <laughs> Love this attack. Oh, hey, convenient, ahead. Perfect. We'll charge an R2. And then we can get a crit. Oh, I think that's the end of the fight. Cool. Yeah, golden seed. Now we can actually get a flask. And we get the giant crusher at the same time. Giant crusher, nice. Although I'm not going to be able to wield that for quite some time. <laughs> the weight on it's crazy. That would be a pretty ideal weapon, though, to put Waves of Darkness on once we get it. Oh, I guess we fought a boss, though. We can go for an invasion. That being said, I should try to get an extra flask quickly. I don't think this one will translate into invasions, though. Yeah, 11 and 2. That's the weird split where you just don't get a bonus for the flask because it gets cut in half. Wait, I just realized I wiped my souls and I didn't do the invasion. <laughs> what the heck was I thinking? I can invade from right here though, it's fine. I just like wiped my souls and decided to run on my horse. I've come to the conclusion that my short-term memory is in danger from that. <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe and then do an invasion. Wipe souls. Instantly gets on horse. Oh, well, you don't say. Oh, that's actually not a wizard. If that's the case. You're very enthusiastic about those things, huh? I was going to say, what is this, some honest fight? <laughs> oh, they have such a slow... Oh, that's a wizard, though. Full starting gear wizard. You have not changed an armor piece since you began the game, have you? That's crazy. <laughs> and you're out of FP. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. <laughs> Wait, you got to let me do this. Oh, excuse me. 1,500? That's not bad. What can we use that's kind of fun? Maybe some poison? 
Did he just... Oh, interesting. Oh, <laughs> that's rough. Oh, we get some poison out here. Um, honestly, we'll just fight with our unupgraded weapons. It's kind of fair and balanced. I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know how he's in our upgrade range. Must have only upgraded the staff up until this point. I could see that. Hey, those didn't do the worst damage for being unupgraded, by the way. 123. It's like 40, le 40 less than my upgraded Shamshir. I want to warp and get some more stones with these runes, but I also don't want PvE to die and go in my inventory. And there's no grace around, so we're going to go over to this grace up here. We're avoiding Margit that spawns because of that reason as well. That Margit only has the Amber Medallion as well. I don't know if I want that right now. Our Shamshir is definitely behind here. Plus eight. Ooh, actually, we don't have plus nine, st plus three stones. Huh. I thought I did. All right, we go buy them. And then after plus nine, we need 10, 11, and 12 from the other stones. So how many of those do we have? We have 14 and zero of these. Well, we need a nice big soul chunk to buff those up. On to our collecting. I believe Lightning Slash is right near here. I do want to pick that up. I enjoy using that Ash for. Well, hello there, Lightning Slash. Oh, wow, you're alive. <laughs> Have the worst luck with finishing those off. Ooh, well, we're not going to get hit by that. <laughs> A failed backstab on the PV. That hurts my soul. Alright, so there's a golden seed near here that I want to grab. But I also want to go towards the left of the area as well. Ah, uh, excuse me. Ow. Okay. Horse does not cut tight enough corners for me. We dodge. Hello, ghosts. Oh. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever been hit by a lightning strike until this moment. That's unfortunate timing. Well, hello there, assassin. I've come to combo you. I do apologize. Ooh, that one's kind of easier to backstab because of that. I wonder if you can get this on wake up, even if they dodge away. Whee. Oh, I always get hit by that. They drag it a lot longer than you think they will. Excuse me. I could be fancy too. Whee! <laughs> yeah. It's a little 360 they do at the beginning. You are much tankier than me though. Unfortunately. Trying to backstab me. Oh! We actually jumped at the same time. Feeling like an anime battle right now. Whoa. Oh, you're fast. And that has hyper armor. Jump! I have to reset you. No! Thought I could tank through it, maybe. Backstab. That might be the end of the fight. Yeah. We get the black knife. It does have a little bit more faith than I have on the build. We can grab the crimson seed talisman over here quickly. I would like to have that on me. Oh no, my ghost is a fingerprint shield. <laughs> Nagi Nata. Yeah, the crimson seed talisman. All right, now we did fight a boss. We fought the assassin, so we wipe our souls, go for an invasion, and then we continue on. Celia Town, possibly? I do enjoy fights in there. Wow, way to spawn me, like, as far as possible, though. Is there no better spawn? <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna jump down the branch then. Yeah, I remember, like, going down this tree. Woo, almost didn't make it. All right, we did it. 
You are running oddly, sir. Ooh, what's this? Oh, you have a nice phantom. Well, you have a three-man team here. I think I saw one in the back. I did see one in the back. Hello there. Ooh, that high-level phantom looks like he's coming in to hit L2 at me. Indeed. <laughs> I love the just no, don't care at all. They <laughs> just face tank it. Okay, well then maybe this will be the play here. Hello. We get some regen. Bonk. Hello. How are you guys? Shield crash. Whee! We run around this way. Take you on a nice little journey. Did they try to cut me off? No. All right. Hey there, guys. Nope. I get your battle tactics, but I'm not going to allow you to surround me. That's rule number one in a 3v1. Don't allow that to happen. That's how you die. <laughs> Although I am kind of sad that the host is just kind of running in here. Leave it to the overleveled with the rivers of blood to just face tank it all. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Whoop. Okay, well that, they probably won't fall for the same thing twice. So we're going to have to mix it up a little bit. Where'd the hell's go? Back to someone? Maybe? Ooh, front flip. Oh, uh, it ate my R1. <laughs> he was running around to try and cut me off. That's pretty funny. Whoop. Oh, that was looking like a cool backstab, honestly. You know what I never expect? Supposed to just like sit there and face tank with R1, but they do. And I don't know why they do. He's gonna do a follow up. I knew it. He felt safe from me failing that first backstab. So we get the second one. We're dismantling the team one at a time. I'm heavy rolling. I think he's seen it. <laughs> Excuse me. My weapon needs to go off. I forgot I can't use the divine hander while having certain talismans. And the scarab is one of them, apparently. Oh, whoa. R1. Oh, that was close. Oh, the frostbite. <laughs> well, fun fight, guys. That was close. To getting me a level? No. I was kind of hoping on that extra soul bank right there. Nowhere near a level, actually. I forget that I need, like, 16,000 now. I think I'm going to save doing this grave for later. It doesn't really have any items that I want at the moment. So we're going to go buy some more stones and then progress on. Actually, while I'm outside here, we're going to quickly run and grab the tier that's there. There's a tier. Ooh, what else is here? Lightning Great Bolt and a Sacred Tier. Nice. It costs 6 just to finish off a weapon to plus 9, I think. So, whatever. Let's see. What weapons do I want to make plus 9? It would be good to have the Shamshir and the Mace hit plus 9. I think other than that, I've got all the ones that I need for sure at the moment. I guess the S-Stock would be cool. The Venomous Fang we can probably upgrade because it's a somber weapon. So we can buy, you know, we only need 10 of these right now to get all of our weapons to plus 9 that I'm using. So we'll get 10. And then we'll start stocking up on these. I can buy one. <laughs> Now let's boost our flask. What amount do we even have it at right now? Plus 10, okay. We're getting up there. Now let's go get the godskin peeler. I don't really need it, but I do want it for my next builds in the future. So we'll run there by horse. Ow. Those have some good aim. I wasn't expecting that to hit me. I'll make sure to jump periodically. Incoming! <laughs> We made it to the village, so we get a grace. Nice. Don't mind me taking your precious items, though. Oh, it's just a rune arc. <laughs> I still haven't equipped one. <laughs> That's funny. Because they're not used in co-op or, like, PvP, other than being, like, the host, it's such a wasted opportunity. They could have been so interesting to see what ones people used. That's a change I'd like to see in the DLC. Allow phantoms and hosts and everyone to use the rune arcs. 
In fact, if you use some of the health ones, it would actually make people tankier. So some of the high, like, damaging Ash of Wars wouldn't seem as strong anymore. Woo. Did I did I fight one of you? Oh, I hit the dog. But to be fair, the dog hit me first. So, you know, technically you started it. <laughs> well, are you... <laughs> Throwing that fireball before. <laughs> I've even initiated the fight because I hit Estus. That's funny. Alright. The Estus punish man. Whoa. Probably frostbite you kind of evil easily. Evilly. Sometimes I can't speak. Whoo! That's a really slow attack. Gotta keep the pressure up. Oh yeah, I forgot about that attack. Oh, that timing was close. We reset you. Quickly before your transformation. How much damage do you do actually? You haven't hit me really? Yeah. Not the most. But not the least. Oh! Oh, I lied! He uses his Black Flame Tornado. When you get hit by three things in a row from him, then he kinda hurts. Propeller! I love that attack. It's like free damage. Propeller 2.0, oh, I lucked out. Oh, ah. I didn't luck out with that moveset though. I hate that attack. I just wanted to touch you once. Ow. Cool. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he has a long attack chain here, but he didn't. It was annoying me every time I went to swap that my menu was fully open. <laughs> ah. One Frostbite proc should do it. There we go. Nice. He dropped me a weapon that I probably won't use. I think I have decided that I want to do a couple of runs like this. It's a really good way to get a character ready for when the DLC releases. And I can use some starting classes that I didn't use. I mentioned before. I'm pretty sure most of my builds have been a samurai starting class or a vagabond. So I want to try like hero, bandit, things that are more optimal for certain builds. Vagabond's just kind of really good at being everything, but it's suboptimal for a few. So I do want to have like a hero. You know the drill, we wipe and then we invade. We're getting a lot of Liernia, which is funny, because I didn't think 50 would be popular for that, but I, I was wrong. Oh, hello there! Is that gonna hit me? Oh, thankfully. I still had my iframes. Dear. Double katana? And a cannon? Woo! Woo! Jump. I don't even know where I am right now, to be honest. Okay, so we got a Rune Greatsword guy. He's gonna be the tank that we need to take out. LT. I don't remember which one is the host, but it's definitely not the Moonvale guy. <laughs> We're gonna go up the elevator for sure. That's some scary damage. The Moonvale guy has a lot of damage. Yeah, we're going over here. Sorry. Excuse me. This is the most optimal thing I could have asked for ever. Oh! Are we going to the death here? Whoa. Oh, I got up just in time! Oh my god! Most epic kill ever! <laughs> I was resigning myself to falling off with him. Hello there, <laughs> hey guys. You shouldn't have left me alone with one of you. That was your first downfall, thinking your teammate was OP. Only OP in team. Hey there. Alright. Cannon go. Oh my god, that guy's probably worth a ton of souls as well. My man's is soft swapping the Ruin Greatsword. Um. Okay, we're definitely gonna want. Yes, this is what we want. Um. Unfortunate. Whee. We heal. Oh, we should take, we should take him up that alley for sure. 
I think he wants to heal. I love his fully charged R2s though, they're really fancy. They look cool, we'll let our regen do some work here. I think because they're in a team here, they're gonna attack. Perfect. Might get rid of him here, but he's really high level. So probably not. I gotta manage my stamina a little better. Oh, that's huge. We definitely want those wizards on our side. Oh. Yeah, we take that free damage. Which one is the host? This one is definitely the host. He definitely called him back here. Perfect. Is he taunter? Nice! One down! I don't know which one is which, but I feel like this is... Ah, oh, we are to the Phantom. Unfortunate, but you know what? I will take all of those souls. Those are some levels. <laughs> 42,000 feels lovely right now. When I get these burst amounts, we do really need to jump in levels a little bit. Let's... Oh, okay. So, that's only two levels. Ooh. Yeah. That seems to be the case. I wonder when we'll start. I think once our weapons are like level 12, I'll start investing in the strength. I do want more survivability, and I want to be able to take off the sore seal soon. So, yeah. Right now, we'd, we get four points of damage for two-point investment of strength, so it, it is still more beneficial to go health. Right now, we're the health build. <laughs> we buy a nice chunk of these 10. 10 is not a nice chunk. <laughs> At that amount, we can get two of our weapons. Well, we can get a few of them to plus 10, I suppose. Well, we can get 10 of these, so we'll store that. That's 25 stones right there. And then next time, we can upgrade our weapons to plus 10. At least, hopefully, the ones that I use the most. Now we go back here and grab the golden seed from in the forest. To the seed, Torrent! Onward! Back at you. Oh, there it is. It is on the path. All right, now we need three more. The Wood Folk Ruins. Ooh. What's in here? I actually have no idea if this is a boss fight or just an item. It is indeed just an item. But what one? Wrath of Gold. Okay. Cool. There's the Sight of Grace. I've been horsing around in here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay. Now let's just head to the top and go around here, I guess. We just warp up there. I can actually get that hood that is the blue one that might match my set more. If we want to have a mix-up on the armor. Oh, is it over the fire? I vaguely remember that. Yes, it is. <laughs> the whole set and the twin blade. How much heavier is the hood? A little bit heavier. More poise, though. Two more poise. Doesn't look half bad. Kind of matches our skirt. I want more helms that show faces in the DLC. That'd be great. You have to go down here to get the grace. That's right. It's not up top. All right. Ooh, another possible weapon here. Sorry guys, I'm just stopping you. I want this easy to grab weapon. Excuse me, pumpkin. No, 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 you don't see me. Great stars, nice. <laughs> Stolen! Oh god, the bleed dogs, I remember these. Excuse me while I just sneak in here. Oh, there's a boss fight in here. Oh, actually, yeah, I remember. Yeah. The noble. Frostbit right away, though. That's rough. Did you get stunned by a combo that works in PvP? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I, for some reason, I couldn't L2 right there. That was weird. Oh, no. Oh, damn. It creates bleed pools that stay. Well, birdie. Take my bird attack. 
True combo. LT. Nice. <laughs> well, you know, that wasn't that bad. I forgot about those areas. You just like get heavy in them. Random boss fight that I was not expecting. All so that I can retrieve the bloody Helis. See, that's on our bleed build when we go through the game. That'll be cool. Pretty late game weapon, though. All right, let's just get to our next grace point, and then we'll go for our invasion. What's this? Golden room. Perfect. This leads well into Mount Gelmir. Hitting triangle. <laughs> a nice soul wipe into our invasion. Maybe a Mount Gelmir one, but I doubt it. We're still probably going to get Lyrnia. Yeah? Well, this was unexpected, actually. Lakeside Cave. Good thing we have our lantern. Are they just entering, or are they all the way down? Ooh, they're below me. Is this how you get down there? I'm already, like, forgetting. Oh, it's this cave. This is a pretty big cave. Hello there, guys. Is Buckethead my first challenger? Whoa! Whoa, those... The snails making noise scared the heck out of me. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess they were attacking you. Hello there, Samuel. What is this? Feeling like a mini boss fight with the way you guys are. Oh, I might get blood. What? What? Are we just gonna R1 each other? That's the whole plan here. You think you'd be out of space of it, but you're not. <laughs> when they R1 spam three times. The Nagakiba is quite long. Well, 1500. I'll take it. Not too bad. I definitely know when we can level up one more time, I want one endurance. So that way I can just hold my dagger in the offhand again. Oh, nice. A red main castle invasion. The Bloody Nine. Hello there, Bloody Nine. How are you? Ooh, spinning slash on the Naga Wait, Nagakiba. Oh, that, that was the enemy. I was like, wait, somebody did something. R1. Well, you're kind of tanky. I guess you have a rune arc. Repeating thrust. No one expects that. <laughs> Unfortunate that the summon, or maybe you didn't have a summon. Or maybe you did and they died before I got here. I didn't see a summon. Oh, Francis. Scarlet Swamp. Oh no, do not get Scarlet Rot. I know I need to get the cleanse me incantation. I have not yet, because I procrastinate. <laughs> All right, so there is a phantom here. Does the phantom notice me at all? The answer is most likely no. Cool. We'll do that. That was a sneak attack on my part, but I want souls. <laughs> we have not gotten a lot. 838. I was hoping higher. Well, unfortunate. Sorry, Francis. Usually I'm merciful, but right now, we need all the souls we can get. <laughs> oh, I should have put the Scarab on. Well, 3,700. We can probably upgrade a few weapons, honestly. Well, we only have enough runes to get like two weapons to 10, so I feel like I should clear up and finish off my eights quickly. I haven't been using the Zweihander a lot this time, but I, I should. I still want to poison people, and I do enjoy that weapon, so we'll get it to plus 9. Oh, I was hoping I'd have enough to get the mace also. Unfortunate. Yeah, Shamshir plus 9. I do want to see what the damage on this would be comparatively if I made it heavy. So with the blood, it does 184. Heavy, it would do 224. I could make it cold. We don't really have a blood weapon, though, but that Ash of War isn't my favorite. And we could definitely be benefiting from different Ash of Wars here on this weapon. I wonder how much some of these would do with bleed scaling. Right now, cold, I guess, is still going to outdo most things just because you gain like 100 and something AR. You know, I also want to try just throwing bleed on the Claymore. I know fire does really good damage. Like, I think our damage disparity here is going to be pretty high. 243 versus 343, but it's not split damage. I just want to see how it does in an invasion because having a bleed weapon is nice as well. Once you frostbite them, they get lower defenses, so you can just swap. All right, back to our journey. Yeah. 
These things are scary. I know I can go up the ladder, but we could also go get invaded over here by the NPC and then just run back and do that. Oh my god, a dog. Dog versus sword. Oh. Okay, well, we get a bleed proc. <laughs> See, it always feels like bleed weapons aren't hitting super hard, but then you get the bleed proc and you're like, oh yeah, there it is. So we'll test this out on the NPC. Golden Vow. I was gonna say, I feel like I haven't been invaded by Anastasia yet anywhere, which is odd. Hello there. Oh, you have that perfect connection. You got that beautiful jump attack. What do you think about this? Into this. Backstab? No backstab. Woo! Into this. Hit a few times, no bleed yet. There's the bleed. L2. Oh my god, anime jump. My turn. No, a dog. Oh my god, a dog. That's terrifying. Dishonest ganking? What the heck? What? Did the dog kill the invader? What? Did I? Did I hit the NPC? I feel like I didn't. But I also like the butchering knife. Still more of a dex weapon, I think. I'm confused. But we got a stone sword key. Put me up that ladder. Before I get grabbed by the maiden behind me. Oh god. <laughs> that was close. Very long ladder. <laughs> They're both at the bottom there. That's funny. Can I get off the horse? I was clicking it so much. <laughs> All right, what's over here? Just some souls, maybe? Yeah, runes. I remember there being a upgrade stone near her. Oh, it's by the chair, yeah, I see. Excuse me, doggo. I'll be taking the somber six, nice. What are all the items here? Excuse me, could I, could I get off you guys? Thank you. <laughs> Just full stuck. Is there anything useful up here? Oh wow. Perfume. Look at those nice used perfume. Excuse me. Oh my god. The one use the guy that spams the dagger has knocks me off the ladder. <laughs> Although it hit both of them. Oh, I'm gonna end up killing everything here, aren't I, to get up that? Yes, yes I am. Excuse me. I need you to leave. And you as well. Oh. That's what I get for my greed. I was aiming for both. This turned into a war. <laughs> Alright, well. Maybe we got some loot. A dagger and a sanctuary stone. Not the best loot. You're a little late to the party, buddy. What's actually up here? Fire arrows and... I'm gonna say there better be something useful. A pulley bow. Well, it's something. Torrent, I call you forth so I can jump off this. I don't usually ever fight that. I don't know if it's worth it. What do you actually get for fighting it? Forget. We climb another ladder. There's a merchant nearby as well. I think it's... Is the merchant on that one or this one? Or over more? We don't really have actual money to spend though. Ah, the merchant's on this one. They should really have a grace here. So what do you sell? Stone sword key? I would like these. Volcano pots would be cool, but we don't have souls for them. So we're going to have to wait. Well, we made it to the top. Excuse me, guys. Wait. You're the madness ones, right? Indeed. 
I could be on my horse. Or the horse doesn't like to jump on on the bridge, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, you can't call the horse on the bridge. Interesting. I guess I never tried until now. Well, let's do it. We go up on the horse, we fight the boss. Oops. Boing! Hello there. That's a weird way to say hello. Very rude. We can poison because we did that before, so I know it works. It'll be very nice to actually have some, like, DPS over time on it. Yeah, there we go. That actually worked. Oh! oh I did not expect that to hit me. Oh! That was the cliff. You go so far away. I like this that weakness for me with a lot of Elden Ring bosses. They just jump so far out of your range. Compared to... Whoop. Excuse me. Yeah, we're definitely not going to beat it without stat procs. Oh, I think the physic. We need some regen. I forget if I was even able to frostbite this boss. Because we did it in the cave. I don't remember. Whoa. Whoa. Well, we need poison again because that worked the best out of anything we've done. Trump flip. Bonk. That's weird that that hit me. Alright, we got the poison again. What about bleed then? Yes, can I bleed a rock monster? Indeed, I'm asking that. Aha. Uh -huh. Front flip. Ah, you go so far away. Oh, I actually hit that. Sometimes I haven't noticed that, but I've been landing the hits. Should just use piercing fang and stuff more. So let's keep on the, uh, oh. I going to say, our regular hits are doing absolutely nothing, so we do need to use the Ash of War a lot. And we have two flasks, so that's good. Oh. The range of that is terrifying. Ooh, ooh. The poison's still going, too, so that's not the worst. I feel like we're going to have to pull it back out in a second, though. I feel like you can't really punish that attack because you go straight into like an actual attack afterwards. This definitely staggers though. I like that. Oh. I did not know it caused a bleed buildup. <laughs> Just noticed that. Also, maybe R2? L2? No. I guess I got that stagger before because I did it in such quick succession. LT. RT. There we go. Uh, excuse me. Need this crit. Alright, we need the poison back. It's gone. Definitely worthy, the poison buildup. Don't want to sleep on that. I really, I guess you can not frostbite. Tail whip. I won. Oh, oh god. Excuse me. I'll be leaving that range. Whoa. 175, you know, I want to compare that with the bleed attack. That was one-handed though, so you can't really... I did a jump attack, let's see. 135, or 131, so it's a little worse than the frostbite, but... Ow! I was not expecting that attack. Why didn't I? Uh-oh. Front flip. Such a weird attack when the like ground is not even. Ooh. 
Oh, excuse me. Whoa! I wanted to R1 before we got that crit. That was unintentional. Oh, well. Ow. We heal. Even though our damage is bad, the stab procs definitely help a lot. This next one in our row. Oh! Forgot about the Kamehameha beam, to be honest. I don't remember like what it does. Oh god. Yeah, I thought I could roll towards it. That was a mistake. Front flip. L2? Yeah, now we get the poison. Oh, well, we run out of there. Good thing we got the poison. The poison wins it for us, probably. Or this. <laughs> the wind wins it for us. Well, falling star beast down. Ooh, that gives us some good stones. We get some free smithing stone sixes. And one somber. And the weapon. That requires quite a lot of stats. <laughs> um, Parkour. And then we're kind of back to where we've been. Into the manor we go. Progressing really nicely along. Alright, I think I'll call it there for part 10. We did just complete a pretty big boss. We have all of the Volcano Manor area to explore. Still a lot of Mount Gelmir, so we're going to go up the other side here. And then I could head into Landell City. That being said, we're still pretty under-leveled, so we're going to try to do a little bit more invasion heavy on the next video to level up. Level 54 into Landell City is pretty low, so hopefully we can get our levels up by then. Always feel free to recommend other weapons or things that I've left behind that I've passed by. I do appreciate that as I may not think of them at all. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for the input and all the love for the series. Goodbye. Goodbye.